Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. I think we still can do a little bit better. Good afternoon, everyone. We're alive, we're well, we're on the right side of the grass, and that's something to celebrate. Uh, it's great to be with you, and uh, first and foremost, each and every one of you, I want to thank you for your service. Whatever county you reside in and work in, uh, it being a, you're one of our partners, and we should be one of our partners. Um, and certainly uh, with a hand reaching out, with a handshake to help, and not blaming you for all the ills of the world. And you have a friend, not only of myself, uh, but our entire Assembly uh, Republican Conference, who have been stalwarts to be partners in, in government uh, and not uh, confrontation. I, I do want to mention that from the standpoint of when we talk about this property tax cap, which originated, so don't throw things at me, it actually originated in the Assembly Republican Conference. However, when we said we wanted to have a property tax cap, we said we have to eliminate the unfunded mandates. And if you look at our proposals, not just on uh, property tax cap and unfunded mandates, but anything that we uh, touch upon in state government, we've got more great policies than I think any other conference in Albany. And if you don't believe it, you know, look it up or just contact my office and we'll send you, because the binder is this thick of ideas that will improve New York State on every level. Now one thing I'm going to share with you today, uh, in prior ideas, uh, we have said that we think it's a good idea for New York State to take over the entire cost of Medicaid. Our conference is going to be rolling out in the next three days or next 30 days a concrete proposal to do just that. And we're going to share it with both houses of the legislature and the governor. And our plan is. Upstate, 100% takeover by New York State over 10 years, 50% takeover of New York City over the next 20 years. These are big numbers, but they're affordable. We can do it, we must do it, and it's a comprehensive, comprehensive restructuring of the entire program. Because what I believe is once New York State takes over the total cost, and you can reduce your property tax levies, then maybe New York State will do something about making the Medicaid program better, more efficient, more effective, and then also resulting in reduction of the cost of Medicaid rather than Medicaid continue to skyrocket in this state. So you will see an actual detailed plan and how to do it, how it's going to be paid for, the out years, it gets a little bit more difficult if you don't reduce costs. We have to reduce costs. We have to be more effective. And it's not about cutting and slashing services. I'm just going to share one story. I was in New York City last week and I was talking to some folks that I know and we're sitting around and having dinner and one of the gentlemen I was with, his wife works in the healthcare field in the city. And she was saying that they have Medicaid patients that need public transportation or need transportation from their home to the health care facility for treatment and then go back home. Understandable. Medicaid coverage. But what Medicaid won't pay for is if they use a subway, a bus, or a taxi or Uber, Medicaid won't pay for it. But if they take a medical transport vehicle, such as an ambulance, Medicaid will pay for it. And this lady said, they're very capable, they're physically able to take public transportation. They could use some help to pay for it, but you're talking about $20 cab ride versus $900 for a medical ambulance. That's precisely the type of waste of taxpayer dollars that runs rampant with this program. And it's not about the patient, it's about the administration of it. Yeah. 
So my commitment to all of you is that this is a concrete plan. It'll be a public document, hopefully in the next couple of weeks. We touch upon a few other things, especially uh, dealing with uh, earned income tax credits and minimum wage. Uh, we believe this is a, finally a plan that makes sense, that's affordable, and that's really going to hopefully uh, change the uh, financial fabric of the state uh, for our future. So on that note, I just want to say thank you again. I'm a kind audience. Sorry to interrupt your lunch, but you have a friend in us. You can call us anytime. And then as we move forward with this budget year, uh, decisions will be made, tough decisions will be made, but it won't be from our conference at the expense of you. Thanks, ladies and gentlemen. Good to see you.